just going to show on. No, 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 no. You can just, like, just stand next to me. Okay. You, you can just I'll do all the all right. I'm good at it. All right. Hey, I'm here with uh, a couple of uh, people who work for Geeks Shared Fi. Is that it's just oh, called it's called Shared Fi. Well, we love Geeks. So <laughs> that works too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come in a little tighter because you're out of the picture. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Cool. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah, and you are Kara. Where are you guys from? Austin. Austin. Born and raised. Austin girl. This is an Austin company. Actually, it's a no. Guatemalan company. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No. no, it originated in South America, and it's used all over the world, including Russia, of all places. Apparently, Russia is a hot spot for Wi-Fi. I learned that today. They like free stuff, so. How does this work? Can you kind of give me a rundown? Absolutely. Okay, so let's say you go to a Starbucks, and you, you ask the barista for the Wi-Fi password. They give you the password, and you upload it with this app. You connect to Wi-Fi through this app, and anyone else that has the app can automatically connect to that Wi-Fi within 80 feet. But the reason it's so great is that it promotes the company as well, because then the company, if you have this app, it'll give you 20% off when you go in there. So you're not stealing the Wi-Fi, you're sharing it with other people that are there automatically, and then promoting them to actually go in there. So does it require a device or anything? It does require an Android. They're developing it for iPhone, but with iPhone, the apps can't direct the operating system. But with a Droid, the apps can, which is kind of What awesome. if I have a laptop? It's not for laptops yet. Only for, it's, only it's for mobile. Be, right. It's supposed to be exactly for mobile. It will come to laptops and iPhones soon. So if I have an iPhone, I walk into a Starbucks, and I, and I don't want to pay for Starbucks, so I use this? Is that how it works? Well, if you have an iPhone, you can't use it yet because, like I said, this app... Okay, I have an Android, say. Okay, well, if you have an, an Android, literally this app will automatically set up your operating system to do it as by itself. Okay. I learned that about Droids today. I'm a, I'm a diehard iPhone fan, yeah. and I learned this today, so I'm kind of thinking about switching over just for this app, honestly, because it takes all the hassle out of getting the Wi-Fi password, and it makes you want to go into these places because you're getting the free Wi-Fi already, and then you're getting a discount on top of it, just for having the app. When you download the app, there's a map that shows you where like all of the Wi-Fi hotspots that are open are. So you can look and see what is closest to your vicinity and use that Wi-Fi. In Austin, there's already 400 spots, and it's literally global. You can, I mean, any country, if you have this app, you can use it. So give me the nutshell summary of exactly what this does, OK? It basically eliminates you having to ask for the Wi-Fi password if you have this app. As long as you're within 80 feet of the Wi-Fi, if you have this app, you've got the Wi-Fi. Do you guys know everybody's password? Essentially, yes. <laughs> We're kind of sneaky like that. You cut, it, you cut deals with all these places then. Exactly. We let them know about it. And if they ever have an issue with it, we stop it immediately. Like, it's not that we force them to do it. Like, they can say no, and that's fine. But why would you say no? It's free promotion. Like, come use our Wi-Fi. We'll give you 20% off. That's great. Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. And it, and it is kind of an issue when you walk into a place wondering what the password is. It does save a little bit of step. You exactly. Know? Especially if it's super busy. Like, if it's finals week and, you know, the line is out the coffee door and they ask you if you want to open up a tab for coffee. That happens a lot. Or if you don't want to hang out in the spot and you just want to use Exactly. I mean, as a student. You have it. Yeah. So. I mean, as a student, I need Wi-Fi all the time. You're a student at UT? Yes. What year? Technically, I guess a, a junior. A junior. I, I've lost count now. <laughs> what's, your, what's your major? My major is political communications. And you? I'm just chilling. <laughs> You're majoring in chilling? <laughs> I major in chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, are you all full-time or part-time with, uh, what is the company called? It's called Shared Five. Yeah, we're part-time with them. The app literally just got finalized a few weeks ago. So that's why we're here at the Interactive trying to promote it now, since it's still not big. So what's your job consist of besides coming to South By and being, you know, promoting it? Do you do it, you do it the rest of the time, too? Yes. We'll be doing it year-round. I mean, we're going to be full-on for them all the time. But they decided South By would be the best time to do it, especially during the Interactive. It's all for the techies, you know? What are your names again, and what are your Twitter and uh, names? Um, my name is Kara, C-A-R-A, and my Twitter name is Caradura, which means sassy in Spanish. 
And it's C A R A D U U U U R A. A lot of U's in there. Three. You've got three U's. You got three U's in your name. Four, actually. Four. Wait, where, where's the fourth one? There, it's four U's. C A R A D U U U U. Oh wait, no, I take that back. It's four A's, not U's. Oh, four A's. Okay. <laughs> I okay. Changed it, so okay. That's why I okay. You get, you better you better t uh, retake the multiple <laughs> letters class at UT. That's a good, that's a good tip. <laughs> and what? I'm Sarah, and it's uh, actually it's kind of dirty, but it's two cannibals, one cup. That's what? my Twitter. What? Say that. What? What is? Two cannibals, one cup. Well, how do you spell that? Just like it sounds. Spell it out for me. Okay, the letter two. Cannibals, the number one <laughs> cup. Two, one cup. Two cannibals, one cup. Okay. <laughs> Boston weird. Where did you come up with that? How did you come up with that? Have you ever seen the two girls one cup video? <laughs> I have not. No. Don't. Don't. I have not seen that. I've never seen it, and that's why I'm saying I don't recommend it. What, is it on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, yeah. It it's really dirty. It's dirty. Don't. But anyway. So you're Austinites. What are your, what are your uh, favorite places to eat in Austin? To go out to eat, oh you know? Oh, God. I don't even know where I would start. Um, Trudy's and Chewy's, always. Those are my go-tos. Definitely Justine's. It's a French restaurant on the east side. Um, the Carillon for fine dining over on campus. Um, Max's Wine Dive is fantastic. Uh, Torchy's Tacos, also wonderful. Good. Uchi. Uchi oh for God. sushi. Uchi, Uchi. yeah, yeah, That's definitely. Like yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I would definitely, uh, Justine's is going to be one of my number ones. How do you all get around? I honestly use car to go a lot. And then I have, unfortunately, an SUV. So, and public transportation, but. What kind of SUV? A Ford Explorer. <laughs> Sweet. And, Vintage. And you? Um, I have a Honda Accord, and I use the train because I live in Cedar Park right now. So. Oh, wow, you're, you got a long commute. Straight to the convention center, though. Does. How long is that commute? You use it. Um, probably about 20 minutes or so. Yeah, it's not bad. Kind of gets you not bad. traffic. That's why yeah. I have a car to go. Yeah, I use. During South Bys. There's so many free rides right now around exactly. town, you know. Everybody's promoting a, their place, and they have a vehicle to pick you up. Yeah, I actually have a friend visiting from Florida, and I told her, I was like, this is the best time to visit Austin because you don't have to pay for anything. Buy a plane ticket, you're set. You are set, yeah. Yeah, really. Free food, free booze, free socks, free Wi-Fi. Exactly. You already know what we're talking about. All of the bases covered. All of the bases covered. What else is free? Just every single party. You have to know where to go. And what I what are the best parties? You, that's yeah. something you're probably very knowledgeable about. Party. Oh, <laughs> wait a second. Doritos is setting up a 63-foot vending machine for performers to be on top of while they hand out free Doritos Locos Tacos and free bags of Doritos. I don't know about you, but I love Doritos. Um, Fader Fort is also an awesome place. Um, they're very limited. It's very hard to get into, but they have the best performers. What is it called? Fader for it. Fader is the magazine, and they set it up on the east side every year, and it's amazing. What about you? What are your best uh, must-see, must-go-to events? This year I'm doing all free hip-hop. All free hip-hop. Yeah. It's different places. Nothing. It's all underground. So. I went to the to a hip hop concert last year because my son he's real into hip hop, you know, and it was like, it was so <laughs> packed. It was like, uh, what's what's her name? The real famous hip hop. Art. No, no. Uh, Missy Elliott. No. Was it a woman? Yeah, ja uh, uh, Badu. Erica Badu. Erica Badu. That's what it was. Man, that was packed. I'm what are your favorite hip hop artists? Oh, God, I have a thousand. Well, for, I love Texas rap. Zero, Bun B, Slim Thug. Unfortunately, I hate to admit it, but I love Kanye West. He's kind of a lyrical genius. I've always been a diehard Lil Wayne fan, but he kind of sucks now. Okay. But So I've always been into Texas rap. As soon as I got back to Texas, that was it. 
I like underground stuff, the Chicharrones from Oregon, um, Sketch the Cataclysm from Connecticut, uh, Chesky from Connecticut, uh, Dark Time Sunshine, um, Chisme from uh, San Antonio. Just I like the local underground stuff. All right, show me your best hip hop move. Oh. <laughs> microphone for this. Oh, no, I don't have any. I can't All right, how about you? Come on, what, come on, just. Uh, can I see yours? <laughs> there you go. That's good, that's good. Can I see yours? Yeah. Ah, you're having my kitty. I'm the playful kitty. Yeah. I'm with it, I'm with it. Isn't that the thriller? That's a thriller. No, yeah. thriller's more like that. Right. Uh, kitty is just yeah, like that's, batting that's in the air. Like that, like that, like that. What else, what else are you uh, thinking of just randomly right now? What's ran what are random things that you're thinking of? Um, Honestly, I'm thinking of cheeseburgers and cats. Those are my two favorite things in the world, besides of sharks. I also like sharks. I'm you grew up in Texas? Yes. Well, I lived in Florida for a couple years in high school. But the one thing I love about Texas is if you lived in Texas at one point in your life, I almost guarantee you will say you're from Texas. Like, I've been all over the country, and the proudest people are from Texas. True, true. I like booze, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's running through your head? Okay. I'm kind of thinking of how I'm going to make it to work after today. <laughs> About to go have free shots, so game over. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Awesome. All right. Okay, you all too. Share five. Share defy. Shared five.